In this video, I'll be going over how I make right around like five to six hundred dollars of passive income every single month. Now, I made videos like this in the past, but in this one, um, I'm going to obviously tell you the streams of passive income, but I'm also going to tell you how you can more or less get to those streams of incomes, or at least what I did to get to this amount right now, and what I'll continue to do in the future to hopefully make it a little bit higher. But before I get in the video, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I talk about money, investing, and the stock market. So if you're interested in stuff like that, definitely head over onto my channel and consider subscribing. <clears throat> but... Other than that, getting onto the video, so pretty much my main streams of passive income, I'm going from pretty much the top to the lowest. Um, the biggest is from YouTube, which is just from ads, and the next biggest is from probably affiliate marketing, and then the next one, actually this one might be the second biggest, is probably from referral programs I have set up with like certain websites, whether it be subscription-based or investing-based. And then the next, like the lower ones, I don't really make a whole lot of money off yet, is um, once again different streams of affiliate my main one is with Amazon but I also have a couple set up with other websites and then really the only other ways I make money off of YouTube is based off of or um, from passive income I mean um, is I guess you consider dividend investing a passive income stream but um, that one's very low and I just put all that money back in my portfolio so I don't really consider that passive income because I'm not like using it as an income I'm just putting it back in my portfolio but my main streams all revolve around YouTube and in the future I'll probably do more um, I think you can make a whole lot more money off the back end stuff than just from simple just from simply um, advertisements but anyways so I'm gonna probably start from like the top down and go over like the ways you can do it and like how it starts off so um, from the top um, I obviously have a pretty decently large following on YouTube I'm at when this video is made around like 5,000 subscribers right now so I think having a large following on any sort of social media helps and obviously it's somewhat difficult to get that high but I'm going to sort of go over how you can get there so I think YouTube's one of the best social media platforms or one of the best platforms to get a following on one because um, you can post content every day two because it's like probably the easiest way to get monetized from the platform itself like if you when you don't want to go to other social media accounts like Instagram uh, Twitter, uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones, Pinterest, Facebook, you know, whatever it might be, uh, you're not actually going to get monetized directly from those platforms. Like Twitter isn't going to pay you to tweet, Instagram's not going to pay you to post. Um, so how I got that following, and I'm going to go start now, like where I started and how I got up that way. So basically I figured out something I enjoyed doing, which was investing or really just anything I do every single day, which is, you know, I do it. I do a lot of stuff with investing, the stock market, market always trying to make more money. So I thought, Hey, why not figure out a way to, you know, talk about what I do? Now I thought about starting a blog or a YouTube channel or maybe even like some sort of Instagram account, and I ended up making a YouTube channel mainly because um, I thought it was like the easiest way to get information out there and the easiest and the best platform to get monetized on. Um, there's plenty of other ones out there, but I thought YouTube was just really the best overall. Um, so what I started doing was basically just recording videos every day. When I started off, it wasn't even of me. It was of my phone, actually. And um, just talking about my stock portfolio, how my stocks are doing, what stocks I was looking at, just pretty much basic stuff like that. I wasn't doing any crazy video editing or doing any crazy um, you know, videos, really. They're, most of them were just 10-minute videos and me talking about my stocks and stuff. And then as I started growing a little bit more, I started making a little bit more in-depth videos. And even today, my videos aren't... Like, I don't really don't do any editing at all. You do very, very minimal editing. So I don't think you need, like, a huge, um, you know, video editing background or anything like that to get into this. But this can be for any platform. I think the best way to get passive income online in 2018, there's no tricks or, you know, um, tips or any crazy, like, cheat way to get there. I think the best way to do it in 2018 is to amass a following on some sort of social media network. It doesn't matter what it is. And it doesn't have to be like, you might, some people might not even consider YouTube social media. I do, but um, on some sort of platform, you want to get a large following. And I think the best way to really do that is just to simply start putting out content like I did. I started putting out content. My content was really bad at the beginning. Um, even if you were to do like an Instagram account or a blog or a, I don't know, a website or something like that, um, there's a good chance your content's not going to be very good when you start off. It's kind of difficult to just jump right into it and have good content, but that's totally okay. If you look at my very first video compared, you know, to even this video or videos I post now, the difference in, you know, content is going to be very, very significant. And that really wasn't that long ago. That was honestly less than a year ago. So, 
putting out content. And one thing that I kind of took from Gary V, if you guys don't follow him, Gary Vanderchuk, he has a YouTube channel, a podcast, you know, he's big on Twitter, Instagram, all that. One thing he really pushes in 2018 is just putting out content and um, rather than creating, documenting. So whatever you do in your life, if it's interesting, I mean, the people obviously do vlogs and stuff, but most of that's not very interesting. You have to have, you know, a pretty, I guess, somewhat interesting life to do that, or you have to, you know, be okay with carrying around a camera all day, which I really wouldn't want to do. But if you do anything in your life that you either enjoy or like, you know, you're really good at something, then definitely consider just literally documenting what you do every day or what you do, you know, every couple days, whatever it might be, and just put that on some sort of platform. And eventually, if your content's good and creative and you start putting it out consistently and you're talking about something people care about, then you're going to get eventually some views. Now, if your content sucks, the market's not going to lie. You're not going to get any views. People aren't going to follow you. But if your content's anywhere decent, or if it's honestly even just what people want to see or watch or read, even if it's not that good, um, you're still going to get a following and you're going to be able to eventually monetize that. Now, the monetization is obviously going to happen later. I did YouTube for like four or five months before I ever got monetized. So I was literally just doing free work on you know the spare time I had every hour a day. I think another tip for people that want to create passive income, um, most of you watching this probably have a day job or maybe go to school like I do or have both. And I think you have to figure out, you know, what are you doing from 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. till 2 in the morning? Are you, you know, watching the basketball game? Are you playing video games? Are you hanging out with your friends? Are you hanging out with your family? All those things you're doing probably aren't helping you. You know, maybe you get some relaxation, sure. But, you know, if you want to relax your whole life, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But I'm um, wanting to make a whole lot of money. But anyways, um, I think a big thing to do is figure out what you're doing from that 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., figure out a way to monetize it. I think the best way to do that is by creating some sort of content on some platform, whatever it might be, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I think all the above work, and then figure out eventually a way to monetize it. And like I do, what I'm going to plan to do in the future, you can monetize it with ads, with affiliate marketing, with um, branding, with sponsorships, eventually merch, eventually maybe create some sort of course if you're doing something that people want to learn how to do, maybe even consider writing a small ebook, can, you know, do some sort of like um, cheat sheets or, you know, portfolios, you know, whatever it may be, there's going to be a bunch of different ways that you can start off. Now, if you're, you know, already at that point where you have um, some sort of account on social media and you want to continue to do it, one thing I can say to you is definitely post consistently. Try to post every day if you can, because the more content you put out there, the better you're going to be. Even if the content's not that great, uh, don't worry about spending days and days like editing your videos or editing your work. Just put the content out there. It doesn't have to be amazing when you're starting off, especially when you don't have a large following. And then eventually you can make it better as you get more time and maybe start making some money off of it. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I didn't want to make it very long. If you liked the video, definitely leave a like and comment below what kind of passive income you make or if you want to make some in the future, what you're going to do to go towards that goal. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.